Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to take a look at Counter Tide Leviathan. Her skills, builds and possible team comps. Counter Tide Leviathan is a water element, healer DPS hybrid that belongs to the Asterism Partheon and uses Trace as the resource to execute her skills. Her basic attack has 5 sequences, and will grant her a trace after every 15 hits. Do you note that landing all 5 hits of her basic attack is considered 15 hits. Skill 1 Leaping Krakens, summons a wave that surges forward and pulls enemies hit back to Leviathan, she will gain 1 trace on hit. In addition she will also gain 1 counter tide mark which increases her healing effectiveness by 5% for every 1 hit with Leaping Kraken. This can stack up to 4 times and Leaping Kraken's damage is increased by 1.25% for every 1% of healing. This effect is removed 1 second after the counter tide mark is expended. Skill 2, Tide Summon, summons two creatures that circles Leviathan and deals AoE water damage to enemies within its field. She will gain one trace on hit, in addition gain one Whale Song mark which increases crit damage by 10% upon each one hit with Tide Summon, this can stack up to 6 times. Tide Summon's damage is increased by 0.8% for every 1% of crit damage boost, up to a maximum of 100%. This effect is removed one second after the Whale Song mark is expended. Casting skill 3 has multiple effects. Effect 1, instantly grant you a trace if you have less than 4 traces. Effect 2, if you are in possession of 4 traces this skill changes into Azure Aid. Azure Aid will provide healing to all allies within its area of effect on cast at the expense of all 4 traces. Effect 3, if a counter tide mark is present, Expend the mark to deal damage to the locked on target, in addition increase damage by 1.25% of healing boost, up to a maximum of 100%. Effect 4. If a whale song mark is present, expand the mark to reduce damage taken by 0.12% for every 1% of crit damage boost, up to a maximum of 15%. The effects will last for 8 seconds. Her ultimate, Herd immunity reduced damage taken by teammates by 23.5% for 8 seconds. In addition for the next 8 seconds casting Azure Aid will grant you 4 traces and Azure Aid's cooldown will be resetted. Meaning you'd want to have Azure Aid and both skill 1 and 2 up before casting this ultimate allowing you to do a nice loop within 8 seconds after the ultimate is cast. She gains 4% of her ultimate charge when she or a teammate is healed, this can trigger once every 2 seconds. With the exception of skill 3 her kit is pretty straightforward and skill issue friendly despite how confusing the wording of them are. Since skill 1 and 2 buffs are passive and do not rely on other skills in her kit, you can use them in whatever order you like. Your entire goal when playing her will be trying to get to 4 traces with both counter tide. And whale song marks up as quickly as possible. Then you'll want to cast skill 3 to expend the marks and all traces while buffing yourself and healing your teammates. The quickest way to achieve this is to begin your battles by casting skill 3 followed by skill 2, then skill 1, after that do one full rotation of her basic attack, and you'll have all the buffs up, with Azure Aid ready, this takes about 4 to 5 seconds to achieve. The next tip I can give is to have all 4 traces with both counter tide, and whale song marks, present before casting your ultimate. Doing so will give you back your Asia aid and you can then cast skill 1 and 2 to get back your counter tide and whale song buffs for a better uptime. Alright now let's talk about sigils. For 4, 5 and 6 you want to have on Jonah's echo, in addition to increasing your healing effectiveness and buffing your teammates after healing them. Those positions will give you attack, crit rate, crit damage and healing effectiveness bonuses, which are all useful stats for your kit. For 1, 2, and 3 we have a couple options. Option 1 and 1 I like using for DPS levy, is mermaids, the substats are as follows, attack, water damage, skill damage and damage to elites and bosses. Option 2 Hippocratic Oath, is great if you're looking to get more healing out of your levy, and synergizes well with the healing effectiveness part of her kit allowing her to do great damage, while providing more healing. Option 3 is one of the trace sets, this is something I would not recommend since she isn't really trace hungry. However if you already have the set, and don't want to farm a new one, 
you can throw it on her and it will work fine. But do note the intrinsic perk on positions 1, 2, and 3 on the trace sets, are basic attack, basic attack and skill damage, and basic attack stats have very poor damage scaling. With that out of the way let's talk about team comps. Levy can fit into multiple team comps due to her role as a healer. One of my favorite team comps for her is Skadi, Vidot and herself. Skadi will be running your basic ice DPS setup, while Vidor will be using Iceberg to reduce ice resistance by up to 18% for 8 seconds, after dealing damage with a skill or ultimate. In addition Levy and Vidor's ultimate will further decrease the enemy's ice resistance by another 30% for 12 seconds, the team will take 25% less damage and restores HP for 8 seconds after the ultimate is cast. You can replace Skadi in this comp with Arctic Abyss Poseidon if you don't have her. Of course you can run this same comp and replace Skadi and Poseidon with Heror and have Levy be the DPS. The next comp is Oceanus, Enlil and herself. This one I like a lot because Oceanus wants to be close and personal, but will eventually end up getting beamed. So having a healer with him is great, in this comp she plays the role of a sub DPS and healer, and they will buff her damage with their ultimate increasing the team's skill damage by 50%, for 12 seconds. Like I said earlier she can fit pretty much any team, so wherever you need a third she can cover. Alright, let's showcase some gameplay of the comps I mentioned here, enjoy. Leviathan, engage! <laughs>
Ciao. 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 Ciao.